guys, ladies and gentlemen, another person who is not American commenting on American politics, which does not concern anyone, but it does. This is the most important election, I think, forever. My God, I'm scared, boys and girls. But watch this satanic evil shit right here. I know Joe Biden's obviously senile, uh, you know, dementia prone and isn't really human, I don't think, but this is scary. President, can you tell us, sir, Donald Trump refers to himself as a political prisoner and blames you directly. What's your response to that, sir? Do you think the conviction will have an impact on the campaign? We'd love to hear your thoughts, sir. Should he be on the ballot, sir? What a senile old man, that shit is scary. If that doesn't worry you as a human being as to what's going on, this is a political assassination. Now, I'm not a Trump fan, no way, Jose, but I tell you what, he's a better, he's the best possible option you boys have over there and females. So let's just get this straight. He's the first um, president to be convicted. I'm getting all this information offline, by the way. Um, so it wasn't for the Iraq war, which obviously we know was a lie for oil. It wasn't for any of the Af Afghanistan wars. It wasn't for the CIA coups, never mind drone striking weapons or spying on Americans, which has been proven by Bill Clinton and Epstein and all these guys. And then, you know, Joe Biden's son was in trouble, but he got away with it. The reason Trump got convicted is because he misclassified 130,000. So, you know, pennies in the grand scheme of things, 130,000 payment for a porn star's non-disclosure agreement. I think some at Dodgy went on behind the scenes and Joe Biden and the administration actually forced um, whatever she's called the porn star to, you know, come out and say this. I don't think she wanted to do any of this. So the fact that he's actually got done for this, it, it tells you everything it's political assassination they're nervous because joe biden's an idiot and shouldn't you know he should be in a care home you know what i mean he should have carers walking him you know taking him to the toilet he should be running a country and it makes you think if he's running the country which everyone knows it's not who's the actual people running the country behind him i'm terrified guys i can't lie i think if joe biden and his administration get into power we're just going to be looking at wars absolute wars to death boys i'm going to get enlisted in an army that i don't want to fight in a country i don't even know how to pronounce i honestly think it's game over boys good luck to all americans i think hopefully Donald Trump wins for all our sins and sanity. Like I said, I don't think he's a golden star, but I certainly think he's the best option. Again, what's it to do with me? And a lot of people say, why are you, why are you getting involved? It's nothing to do. Bro, America is like the biggest company country in the world biggest company in the world i would call it if they are not ran properly we're all screwed dude mate i mean look at iraq look at ukraine since this fucking forgetful daisy tot has got into power death doom gloom and that that look is scary that look is scary like an evil political almost like something from a marvel movie you know what i mean you wouldn't be surprised if this was a clip from like an evil version of black widow or something like that it's like oh dudes good luck